Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the podcast. On today's podcast is a man who is an engineer. He has also rapped on one of my songs, and I don't like the fact that he kind of got out on me on the song. <laughs> he's also a teacher, a father, and he's a part of a few different production groups. His name is Rod Wallace. Peace, brother. How you doing? What's up, man? You all right? Yes, sir, man. Life is good. Life is good. Another no beautiful day. It is, man. It's good to be here, bro. Oh, man. Who you telling? Who you telling? Uh, out of all the situations I've come through and been through, uh, I think this is the best one that I prefer. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I've, I've, I've been in some some shitty situations. I've been in some good situations that were better than this, but uh, the temperament I had wasn't that good. So, you know, I, I prefer this. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So, nice. yes, sir. So, I forgot what was the name of the song that I did, and you uh, you put a verse on. What was the name of that song? Uh, there's none. Competition is none. No, that was a that was a sample. I see uh, none, right? I see none. Yeah. 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 What made you choose that song to do a verse on? Well, I was I was I was mixing your album. Mm -hmm. and, um. The beat kind of struck me. Um, to me, so a lot of the work that I do involving music these days is stuff where I don't actually do the beat. I may do the beat or I may add to the beat. You know, I work with a group called the Dirty Old Men. Yes, sir. Made up, comprised of producers and we do these compilations where I'm kind of diddy -fying them to a point where I'm like, yeah, you know, Maybe we can do this. Maybe we can add this. Maybe we can add that to just kind of bring it all the way out. And every now and then, you know, you encounter something. So, um, yeah, I, I actually played that record a couple weeks ago. No, not even a couple weeks ago, a week ago. Um, and yeah, it's every now and then something just really attaches itself or, or I attach myself to a song and I'm like, hey, you know what I'm saying? I can put this on there. I can not put it on there. Let me know if it doesn't work, so on and so forth. So at that time, I wasn't really rapping. Um, really? Okay. Heavy. Uh, you know, I did a lot of rhyming in the 2000s and, and kind of slowed up on everything for a while. And then probably since back to, you know, around 2019 or so, I started rhyming real heavy again. So, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. What made you step back from rhyming? I think... I was able to say everything that I needed to say at that at that point by making beats. Um, and so now it, it's funny how now I'm saying a lot of what I need to say by coordinating and facilitating projects being done. 